On January 31, 2019, the Red Cross held a blood drive at the Centerville School in Beverly, Massachusetts. It was also a special moment for the school's student council, who, aside from the actual drawing of blood, promoted, organized, and staffed the event. These fourth grade girls welcomed donors at the door and even escorted them to the donation area in the auditorium. A special child care room was set up for parents with small children where the girls played games and entertained the youngsters. To promote the event and encourage adult donors, the student council came up with a unique method of contacting people by writing personal letters in their own hand to selected community members. I had a chance to talk to the excited girls on the student council just before the event started. We're here at the Centerville Elementary School in Beverly, Massachusetts, and I'm here with the girls from the student council, right? Let's hear a cheer for the student council. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, and so we're here for a very special reason, and uh, do you want to tell us what the reason is? We're doing our second annual blood drive, and we made um, notes and posters, and we sent them to people, and we made little cards that every student went home with. Everybody wrote a letter? Okay, very good. Now, what is, what is the main reason that people don't give blood? Um, the number one reason is that people aren't asked, so we sent out letters to ask people to donate blood to come right. to the blood drive. Right. And you, you sent letters out to some famous people, like who? Um, Mayor Cahill and people from the Salem News. So this was all members of the student council that did this, right? We all worked together. We sent out letters out all around Beverly to family members to get the news out. Okay, Kinderly, you have something to say as well, right? The Red Cross came today and they were like super excited that we organized this second annual blood drive and they told us the components of blood and like to give us a head start about it. Fantastic. And Abby, anything else? And there's 51 people coming to donate blood, and those are only the people who have signed up appointments, but there's also going to be people who may just drop in. And as I, as I understand it, there will be greeters, right? Mm -hmm. And then there will be pointers to point people to where they're going, and people at the refreshment table, because you have to have some liquids and Oreo cookies, that's why I give blood for the Oreo cookies. <laughs> the people that give blood are also going to be getting thank you notes, right? Chloe, tell us about that. At the end, when people are done giving blood, when they leave, the greeters will be giving them cards, and the cards will say, like, thank you for donating blood. Wow, what a, what a fantastic project that the Red Cross does such wonderful work. Well, thank you, girls. Thank you very much. Donating blood is very easy. I had already completed my questionnaire and only had to show my rapid pass. Even our mayor, Mike Cahill, showed up to give blood. After giving blood, donors had a chance to refortify themselves with water, juices, cookies, and other munchies. As a reminder of the benefits of giving blood, as the Red Cross says a donation can help save three lives, each donor had a chance to pin three figures on a tally board to attest to the success of the drive.